I think that the right now the people that are doing the best in, as stand-up comics, if you're not already estab- established, there's a huge contingency of people that are very good on social media and getting in touch with people and then getting them to come out to shows. And that I, I, I'm poor at. I mean, I have I have everything in place and I try to do something, but I'm just I really need to. If I felt like if I put more effort, it's one of those things where I'm like, I need to put more effort in this. And when I do, then I'm like, that's not working, but I'm not giving it enough time, you know, type thing. Mm-hmm. But um, I I think in the end, though, honestly, if you stand up comedy is you just have to be really funny and you just have to get funnier always and better. And then eventually you're going to be undeniable, you know, and that doesn't mean you're going to be, you know. Louis C.K. or Bill Burr or Jim Jeffries or, you know, these are all people that I really admire and think are really funny, you know. Um, obviously, Jim, I mean, I tour with him and I'm very good friends with him, but and they all work really hard, you know. But you could be, I mean, what comics do you like? You just listed off most of them. Yeah, like that, but I mean, so. somebody that's not that successful, but I still is, like, successful, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that's the in the end, it's like you could still be a guy that has, goes on the road thirty five weeks a year, and your your peers really like you, and you're well known. You get some TV spots here and there, whatever. And you, and, and, and maybe and maybe you make like hundred eighty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. There's a lot of those, not a lot, but there's that that group of comics where you're like, oh well, that's like that's great, you know. Mm-hmm. But I think I think if you just kind of it if you end up being funny enough to where you're consistent enough. And then once you get to that point, if you just keep trying to get funnier and funnier and just better and better, I think that you'll have a career at it, you know? Now, will you be super famous and this level and have whatever much money as you want? Ah, maybe not. I mean, there's only a few people that get to do that. And who wants that sometimes, you know? I think it can be very difficult. But I just want to uh, want to be in a different tax bracket at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to be at the rental car place after I've done a red eye flight from LA to mm-hmm. Raleigh Durham and just be like, ah, why are there stars next to my name on the rental car? That means your card was declined. This is what happened this morning. And I go, ah, great. <laughs> it's like I have this other one. I hope it works. And it does. Because for whatever reason, they take less money on the deposit. A lot of information for you guys. Get a flu shot. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I just want to be a little bit more comfortable than where I'm at. But I think that is just. I can work harder than I work now. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, for instance, I will tell you because I work with him a lot. Jim Jeffries works really, really hard. And I'm not saying other people don't work really hard and aren't as successful. Of course that happens. But I know by watching him that I don't work hard enough to, to have some of the things that I think I should have. And so every day I'll wake up and I'm like, okay, I got to do this. And if I catch myself slacking, then that's my goal right now work harder, be more productive, produce more things, write more, be funnier, you know? Mm -hmm. 